Hey guys, back again here. I'm done. I can actually continue on from where I left off. Uh, I'm done to show you how to use the delete and how to use create to create your tables. Usually, you create your tables beforehand unless you're trying to make an installer script. So, say if you made a little nice PHP system and you want to be able to move it to another server or give it out to other people and they just run a simple install script, you might want to know how to create, create uh, use the create. Um, so, I'm going to actually start off by uh, creating a new table here. In this case, I'm done to be using a GUI, uh, and then I'll break down how uh, the SQL, the, my SQL setup of create table is made for you. So we're just gonna make a table. I'm just gonna go PHP temp. Uh, you, in this case, I can set a comment if I wanted to set a comment to uh, define what my table is, so I can reference it better. Uh, PHP tutorial my SQL statement. All right. Now, down here you have your column names. This is what we've been referencing uh, to pull some data on the select and how to do the insert. So, I'm just gonna make something simple where it's PHP temp underline ID. And usually you wanna keep a key for your rows, uh, especially if you wanna be able to access them or make a reference from another table. It's very uh, helpful. In this case, it automatically, in this program, it automatically makes my uh, primaries not null, the primary key. And what I just did is select it as an auto increment. And it has a default over here. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, the next thing you see right here is data type. Uh, that's defining what type of data can be enter entered into it. In this case, I have an integer. Uh, you have other options like bar char, uh, a certain amount of characters, basically what it is. Uh, you have your decimal, uh, date time. Uh, it's a timestamp, basically. Uh, blob is big data. Uh, you can probably get bigger data than just a blob, like a long blob. <laughs> uh, there's binary, uh, variable binary. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to be using a lot. I'm just going to go INT. Now, INT, as you see, it doesn't have anything after it, but you can actually define something. Uh, you can go like 24. So it can be 24 basically digits across. So 24 is pretty high, especially if you can get 99999 24 times over. Pretty big number. Um, continuing from there, let's do a bar chart. So as you can see in this bar chart, I have 45. So that means it can have 45 characters. Um, so I'm going to go PHP Tim. I'm just going to name this name. My name can should be about, we'll put less, this would be less than 45, I would think, unless you're trying to make a title of, of a name. Um, actually, I named that wrong. I like to kind of make my things a little bit generic and the same. PHP Tim, something name, something name, something ID, something bar. It's just a concept to follow. Um, let's continue on. Um, Let's do a decimal. So temp cost. So we want to use a decimal because we might be using cents in this case. So we're going to go decimal. Now decimal requires two variables in this case. So how many digits do we want in front of the number or how many do we want to support? Uh, probably only two. We're not going to go into $100. Two and two. So what that means is going to be over here. I'm going to say default dot zero zero. It's basically what the decimal is going to be in this case. Uh, I allowed two at the end and I allowed two at the beginning. Now I can do the same thing over here, PHP temp, mm, let's go tax. And let's change that to a decimal. I'm just gonna type it in here, decimal. We're gonna go one and one. Actually, let's go two and one. Uh, so what that's gonna show up is zero, zero dot zero. That's all I'm changing in that card. And then let's say we have big data. We have fake data that we want to put in PHP description, temp description, description. And let's just say if we want to make it for staff only. Now you can use a balloon for this. I'm just going to use an INT real quick just to make it simple. Balloon is basically a true or false, zero or one. Actually, I'll actually use a balloon. PHP temp visible. This is just my, my switch to tell me if it's on or off. Uh, balloon. I probably spelled that wrong. Not the best spelling in the world here. Uh, actually, I don't think this program shows it anymore. Or I'm really bad at viewing things. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying. I can say binary. Binary of one. And it either gives me. And default is one. And it'll give me a binary. Now, so what I'm going to do is click apply here. And I'm going to copy this. Apply. Finish. Okay, so a table was made. So I'm going to go back to my query here. Okay, so 
breakdown of what I just did through the GUI is you run the you you state out your statement create table. Now you need to point what schema is going into. In this case, my schema was yarn hugger, and then what do you want the table name? So in my case, my table name is HP temp. Now as you can see, I have a bracket open, and that bracket open extends uh, all the way down to here. Oop. So this right here is all within the first bracket. And what you're defining here is one column, what uh, what type of column it is. This one is an integer, and it's not null. Uh, next thing you're doing is PHP temp name, the varchar, not null. Uh, it's just, uh, sorry, not null, but it's null. It means it's blank and empty. This one, when it says not null, it cannot be empty in this case. Uh, you have cost, which is stating that it's a decimal. It's null, and the default value, if nothing is set, is 00.00, .00. Uh, PHP tax, same thing, but instead only one decimal, it's gonna be 00.0. .00. Uh, description, I set it to a var chart, it needs to be set to a checks, and we'll done change that over here. Uh, you can actually go right here and go text. Text actually doesn't use any variables afterwards, so it'll just be text. Um, I meant to use that, in this case I did not select it, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, next one is we have visible, we have a binary, null, default is one. So. If it's empty, basically what it's saying is if it's empty, it's going to be 1. If it's empty, it's going to be 0, 0, dot 0. And if it's zero, empty, it's 0, 0, dot 0, 0. It's basically what it's saying. Then finally down here, we have our primary key. And then outside the uh, parentheses, you have a basic comment equals that. That comment actually, this comment right here, refers back to our table. Right here. So it's just defining that. Now if I go down and find this, PHP temp. Uh, did I actually set an ABC order? Yes, it did. So if I select it, you can see we have our temp ID, temp name, cost, tax, description, visible. Now I actually set that up wrong, so I need to actually change it. Uh, this right near needs to be a text. So if I go text here, I'm just gonna have it update the text. Click apply, it creates a new thing for me. Do -do, copy. Okay. So go down. Do -do. And let's comment this out for you. Boot. And boot. All right. So what I did is it's commented out the create, and I'm going to show you the alter since I haven't ran it yet. So the alter table means I'm going to alter something in this table and point out what table you want it. Uh, from that, you're choosing column. So change column. Boom. Column is selected. Uh, and then it's going to state what that column needs to become. So it states the column name again because the column name did not change. So what you're saying is I want to change this column and what information am I changing it. So in this case, my name is the same, so I'm setting my name. Then I'm saying it's a text, null, default is null. That's all I'm doing. Uh, as you can see here, it makes it really simple. Uh, you actually need most of this information. You cannot just butcher it if you wanted to. <laughs> so that's, more, that's how you update that column. So what I can do is run it. Boop, boom. See, no error down below. Uh, this is the last one I just did. So there's no error. Uh, it's actually a green arrow. And I can't see I have a chair on the way. <laughs> um, so let's open up that table. Doo -doo. Okay, so now I have a blank table. We already know how to do it. Well, thank you for watching. I'll show you in the next one uh, more detailed on insert uh, using these new columns and the types that you're using. And then finally, I'll get to the delete function. Uh, in this case, I took a little bit too long on the create, and I hope you guys uh, learned a little bit from it. Um, have a good one. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, please leave a comment or uh, like below. Um, if you want to keep up with all activities on the channel, click subscribe. And if you would like to watch another video, there's some videos listed down below here. And thanks for watching. Ba, 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 I'm loving it. Da, tsh, da, da, tsh. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, I'm enjoying my time way too much. <laughs>